Good evening. Welcome to Amnicon Falls State Park up on near Lake Superior in Wisconsin, right off Route 2. I'm in the campgrounds right now. It's just a simple one campground loop. Um, simple sites. I don't even know if they have electric sites here. They don't have showers. They don't have flush toilets. It's all just pit toilets. Just so you're aware. So there's your basic site right there. I'm going to wander on over to the falls and see what's, see what's in this park. So just a note, you can hear, you can hear Route 2 and the trucks on that, but apparently you can also hear a train. Hopefully that doesn't go all night. Now this isn't one of the largest state parks or the busiest state parks in the state. Um, there are others nearby that are a lot more active, but it's got a couple different uh, waterfalls. So we're going to check out what's here. You are in driving distance of some of the other ones with more falls. If you want to add those, we are close to the national seashore too. So this can be a jumping off point for other things besides just what's in this small state park. Well, the good news is I'm just in some cascades right now. I think there's some falls right over there. I, I don't have my map with me, so I'm just fumbling my way through this one. But the water is flowing, and that's a good thing. Just a few feet down from where I was. What kind of interesting falls. It splits on two sides. Got a river going on both sides here. And a nice little bridge. So the setting around here is this beautiful pine forest, soft pine floor. I'm betting this in the summer is one heck of a wonderful place to come, hang out, and dip your toes in the water. I'm sure there's some safe spots. So apparently there used to be a bridge across here. Didn't survive a storm, I assume. I don't know the vintage on it. Probably CCC, but I'm not positive. Someone whose real purpose is to come out, well, partially to share this with you, partially to try to capture some photographs. I'm loving this place. I think I got the weather perfect. Got enough light, bright light as the day ends here. But so far, I've only gone down this one stretch and finding so many little gems to photograph. Let's keep going.
So part of this park is some falls called Now and Then, I believe. I'll double check that. But there's a creek on the other side. Basically, this place is a bunch of islands with water flowing around it. But the Now and Then, I believe the name comes because sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. Uh, right now would be a, a now, I believe, not a then. So I'm going to go try to find those as my last stop along the way here. Well, these are gorgeous. Now to figure out how to get a picture of them and all at once. You can't get down there because it's an immediate duck, but great view of these falls. These are great. Love them. You know, there's these great big falls down there where I just took the picture at the selfie station. Eh, I'm not that thrilled with big falls. Things like this with the layering, I love this kind of, this kind of setup. Good morning in Emicon Falls State Park. So one of the things I like about this park and visiting these falls is there's just this one little hill and almost no stairs. Every other waterfall I've been to, you're doing some climbing. This one is all very easy to get around. I don't feel like I'm doing stairs for days. They're not huge waterfalls, but they're nice ones. So here's the entire park map. There's the campground, not very big. <clears throat> As you come in from over here, pay station, and you come into this parking area through here or come around to a future parking area there or there. River comes in here. There's the split off for now and then falls. And then there's the split, Snake Pit Falls this way, Upper Falls that way. So this is an island, and this is an island. Not always, because this is now and then. If the water's low, it doesn't split off. And this area down in here is kind of interesting, because it's all trees that are growing through the water, because there's enough time that there's nothing there. So that's the basic layout. And then there's a trail along the river there, and then the snowshoe trail all the way around. Wandering down the section to the, if you're coming along the river, to the right of the split for Now and Then Falls. And it's roughly maintained. I got a couple of trees that look like they got uprooted this summer in a summer storm or something. But, you know, there are picnic tables. There was, at one time, uh, grills. Well, someone's used it as a fire ring instead now. And the creek just comes along here. And we're kind of working our way to, essentially, the top of the falls. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that far. But, there's lots of these wonderful little vignettes along the way. Worth the wander. Well, that little section is just lovely. You don't actually see any of the big falls directly, 
but lots of beautiful vignettes. So go to the big fire ring, follow the path down. It's worth a little meander in the woods. So here's the main river coming down and you can kind of see the carve in the rock here that goes under the bridge. That's the water flow for now and then falls. Well, I've worked my way down to the point at the bottom of the island where the two rivers from the two falls come back together. Up there, Snake Pit Falls. Over there is the side with the covered bridge and also the junction from Now and Then Falls. Not very uh, overly traveled spot. Glad it came down here. So that explains the snake pit portion of this. Because it's snaking from somewhere up there, down through, and then on out. This whole area down here, under this cliffside, is really cool with these snarly root systems. Snake Pit Falls just keeps impressing. I can see why they have the signage though, no jumping. It may look tempting to go diving in there, but you go in there, where are you going to wind up next? Down that chute? I don't think that's a good idea. These are cool falls. Okay, any waterfall can fall off a cliff, but it takes a special kind to create its own fun water slide. Going up the other side of Snake Pit, Pit, Pit Falls. This used to be a CCC trail, but once that uh, bridge went out, they've kind of abandoned maintaining it. All right, so here's all I can see of Snake Pit Falls from the flip side. But there's the swirl that I couldn't see from the other side. It's a cliff. Not much better you can do, but it's kind of cool. Love this. Love these falls. Okay, here's the back side of the snake pit. You got the falls coming down over here. This is the part I wanted to see before. That's where it comes tumbling out and you can't get across. And then that flows out. I could go down there. It's possible to get down there. I don't see that I would get a fantastic photo down there. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and this ground is very slippery. So I am going to choose not to. So if you go down there, let me know in the comments if you made it. I'd love to find out what it's like down there, but I'm gonna make the smart choice and go get some food. All right, let's start our walk-in campground tour. So it starts off feeling like I'm not really in a campground yet because I got the uh, office over there. 
But right away, there's site one. So if you want the one closest to the trails that gets you to the falls and everything, site one. The last site would do too. But two, three, four, five, six, seven, they're all pretty close here too. And they're all fairly similar. They're all back in sites, so I wouldn't be able to do a driving tour for you. It would be fairly useless. There's three over here. These teepee tents are very popular this year. That looks like a lot of room. Nice retro looking camper over there. Five, six, and seven. Pit toilets. And then eight, nine, ten, eleven around the corner. A big deep site. Ten. Now a couple of these have this little tent symbol on them. I think they're implying nothing but a car and a tent. Although I could see some people trying to get something around that corner back into there because it's all graveled. Eleven is a massive site. So I saw somebody drop this off last night and disappear. So he probably has reservations for the weekend and kind of just holding it for himself. But it's a big site. 12, a little simpler. But let's take a look at this. I think we're on a cliff edge here on 12. And maybe not a cliff edge, but it definitely slopes away. Beautiful woods, though. And that brings us around 13 and 14. And 13 is mine. Fairly basic. There are a pair of walk-in sites over here. The facilities are fairly primitive. We just have pit toilets here. There are no showers. No running water. Um, in the facilities there are water locations. This is an emergency campsite. I'm not sure what that means. I guess if someone's desperate, but it's small. You see our basic pit toilet here, a little water over on the side. It's a simple one loop that you don't even realize is starting when you leave the ranger station, which is at the beginning and the end of the loop. There's 19, the travel trailer. We got a truck camper over here. Way in there. Teepee tent way in the back. So all the sites have pretty good cover between them. Pretty wooded. Everything's reservable and mostly reserved even on this weekend. That one goes forever. It must be a trail off the back. And we're at 25 right now. It was a chilly night last night. It was cold enough in the van I wouldn't want to have been in a tent. So today, this is my version of a driving tour. I'm gonna show you half the campground now. And then I'll clip to the other half as I leave the falls and head back to my site. 28. Someone using their, they had a converted trailer. They even have plugs on it, so. 31, 
Now over here, 32 and 33, again, got to give it to the mastery of driving. That they got that travel trailer way back in on the left side somehow and the fifth wheel over here that's some squeezing oh little class a i like that size it's like the size of a class c huh. i think we oh another pit toilet this one looks a little nicer than the one i got in the back corner and then site 35 over here, which is the accessible one to get. Oh, that's why that was a little nicer. It's an accessible toilet. And I think that's it. We've got a ranger station here on the left. So I'm going to wrap this up. Amicon Falls, not a big park. It's features definitely these waterfalls these two little islands surrounded by rivers and falls and the bridges that let you come and go but you gotta explore because here i am on the trail and snake pit snake pit is down there it's really kind of neat but you gotta be willing to go to those out of reach places and take your time explore this park um, Good camping here, fairly primitive for camping, but doable. And it gives you the ability to take your time here and really explore. Like I said, you can jump off here to other falls around the region pretty easily. You can go to the National Seashore from here. Patterson State Park is not that far with Big Manitou and Little Manitou Falls. I prefer Little Manitou. Big one, you can't even see it all in one spot. The other one you can explore kind of like these so thanks for coming along on the journey if you found it useful like and subscribe hope to see you on the next one and get on out there